up y'all Stefan from Berkshire Bike and Board here gonna take you on a little cruise through Norbrook today midwinter nice and cold trails been groomed uh, gonna give you a little uh, taste of what that's all about stay tuned so here we are rolling into Norbrook farm brewery if you're not familiar with what Norbrook is it's a brewery in the northwest corner of Connecticut that had the philosophy, if you build it, they will come, and they hit it out of the park. They built a network of mountain bike trails, they built a disc golf course, and it's become wildly successful. Uh, anything from technical trails to fun flow trails, and they've also committed to grooming the trails in the winter, which is what we're gonna do today. So, uh, yep, just arriving, brewery here. John, how are you? How are you? Good, good. And this is the brewery. That was the brewery owner, John. So, while my crew gets ready in the parking lot, take it forever. I'm gonna just tell you real quick what I'm riding. I'm riding the Specialized Canevo SL. Um, it's stock bike, it, I do believe is the pro model. Um, the only change I've done is I put 27.5 3.0 uh, wheels on here. So they're a um, Rathchild studded tire, 27.5, so I can get a bigger volume, 3.0, and it works great for riding in the snow. So far, conditions are absolutely perfect absolutely minty hard packed fast grippy everything you want So the trails are pretty mint. It's just enough of a track that you gotta stay focused to stay on it. If you do fade off of it, it's loosey goosey, but just gotta stay on it and you're fine. You start pushing the envelope on speed is when things start to get a little rowdy, but As you can tell, it's nice and packed, tons of traction. One of our group is on a 29er, no studs, and having zero issues. Nobody needs a fat bike, but everybody needs an e-bike. Amen. So this is pretty much the top of the trail system and from here there's a bunch of different ways to go down flow fast tech and if you're looking for a sweet view there's also a fire tower that you can climb and get even a better view than that view which is already stunning the access roads are a little deceiving. You gotta stay right in the center where all the other bikes have ridden because there's hard spots, but if you waver, it gets soft and throws you a little bit, but for the most part, they're pretty good and rideable. <laughs> so 
So this is deeper in the woods, less traffic. It definitely requires all of your attention to stay in the track. There's somebody that went off. So I gotta focus, stay in this track. Oh, and I'm coming out. Oh, 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 I'm coming out. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh, back on. Little challenging. Here's another section of bridge. Pretty long section. The bridge doesn't seem to have packed as well as the rest of the trail for some reason. Nicely done, John. I got you on Showtime too, Matt. Oh boy. I'm on a trail called Steve Quinn, which is a nice climbing trail. It's gradual, but awesome at the same time. Good fun sweeping berms. It's a blast also to come down. But the conditions, once we got past the bridges, are glorious. Nicely done, Johnny. Hello, good looking. Just finished up, loaded up. Give you a little bit of an idea of how this place blows up every single weekend. Parking lot is packed, bikers everywhere. Bar will be full. If you haven't been down here, you owe it to yourself. It's spectacular, even if you're not biking, hiking, snowshoeing, disc golfing. It's still a pretty stunning, amazing view. Come down, check it out. Thanks for watching. Till the next time, hit that like button, subscribe, bell notification, you know the drill. Till next time, peace.